was up, Dirty Cones? Um, wow. I, I don't know, I gotta go with this must be like what the day after D-Day was like. Like, nothing's the same ever again. Um, so I did the podcast on Thursday. Uh, didn't think it went very well, but uh, it seems to be well-liked. I, I thought I was talking too fast, but... That's a whole nother thing. Um, put out a video about PTSD, which was, uh, I don't know about you guys, but it was pretty heart-wrenching for me. Um, I didn't even finish everything I was trying to say. I had to stop. I couldn't, couldn't do it anymore. And then um, Sunday morning, they do a story for um, the Air Force Times, which is now everywhere, and, uh, I don't know, I mean, I gotta thank, uh, Andrew, and, uh, uh, I can see his name, the Chris guy who told me about the Chairborn Commandos, <laughs> and, uh, we'll shoot all of you, so thank you very much for helping me out, um, so I was, uh, thinking uh, about a cool story and uh, yesterday was the day that uh, Komodo 11 crashed with uh, her full crew uh, Lieutenant Archuleta very nice uh, young lieutenant who was going places Colonel Stein who uh, I had known had deployed with him before and, um, I don't know if, I know if, well, maybe, he, uh, when I was a young airman, um, I had a blonde mohawk that I kept gelled down during the day, and, uh, people used to complain about it, and, uh, Colonel Stein's remark, uh, and this has endeared him to me forever, was that as long as the PJs aren't raping or killing anybody, I don't care what they do. And, uh, that's back when pararescue was dangerous. You know, you could have, <laughs> well, we all had blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, we all looked like the Stepford Wives. It was pretty funny. It was, a, uh, I don't know, you, you deploy and, and, you know, there's like a theme for a deployment. You know, um, a lot of guys like to dip. I can't dip. Uh, on that deployment, they, they made me dip. They're like, oh, it's team dip. You all got to do it. Uh, the first two minutes were pretty good. Uh, the next 25 to 30 minutes after that were not good at all as I was sick and vomiting and, uh, really praying for death. So, uh, if you don't dip and you don't want to dip, uh, don't do it. There's nothing wrong with not dying of, uh, uh, throat cancer, lip cancer, any other kind of cancer, so... Um, yeah, not good. And then, uh, I can't think of the F.E. in the gunner right now, so I apologize. Uh, and then Jason Plight, uh, a young airman, first deployment. Uh, he took my locker when I left Moody, real nice kid. Um, and then Mike Maltz, my hero, mentor, and friend. And, uh, his death hit me pretty good. His, his death was, uh, the equivalent of what Nick McCaskill's did for me at the time. Uh, Mike Maltz had been Mr. Pararescue, Golden Gloves boxer, loved by everybody, badass, man's man, PJ's PJ. Um, and so, you know, when he died, it was like, shoot anybody can die um which you know is is a truth that everybody knows but um we hadn't had any pjs die in a long time since you know being, uh, training accidents happen here or there but you know that's it's not the same so when their plane crashed their helicopter crashed to everybody. I don't think anybody saw that coming. Um, oh. 
it's my my youngest son is named after him. And uh you know, I miss him. He was a good dude. Um but I I wasn't uh, I didn't plan on being all melancholy here. <laughs> I think we've had enough melancholy lately. I've been trying to so I'll tell a funny, uh, we were in Key West, and uh, we were on a dive trip, and uh, it's a pretty funny trip, we were, uh, they were, we were diving, and uh, people may have been collecting lobsters, and uh, I am a firm believer in that fish are friends, not food, and, and I told them I wasn't going to help them, <laughs> but they're like, here, you hold the net you know, the bag, and so they would give the lobster to me, and then I would free them, (laughs) Moss was so pissed, uh, but he ended up laughing it off, he just, he's like, what, (laughs) I'm like, dude, I told you guys, I don't eat fish, fish are friends, not food, I'm not gonna kill them, and, uh, it was a, we had a good time, uh, and I actually have a picture of the largest lobster I've ever seen. It was like the size of a small dog, and uh, and I took a picture of it so that way, for with my little disposable underwater camera that I had bought, um, so that way I could show them later what had gotten away. And maybe it wasn't that big, but this thing looked big to me, so I shushed it and it, he swam away. Um, and then uh, we were out drinking that night, and. Uh, I don't know, somebody decided to pick a fight with Maltz, and, uh, there was, like, two or three of them, and, um, so Luigi comes down the stairs with his drink, does some kind of flying ninja kick, kicks the dude, recovers, doesn't spill a drink, keeps on walking, (laughs) like nothing ever happened, and then, uh, Maltz finished off the other two, and, uh, cops came and arrested the three guys for trying to pick a fight with one guy, and, uh, it was the craziest thing I'd ever seen, because, <laughs> uh, Luigi just came out of nowhere, um, I mean, I didn't even know what was going on before Luigi, you know, flies through the air, kicks the dude, and then just kind of stumble recovers without spilling his drink and just keeps on walking down the road like nothing ever happened. Uh, so that was pretty funny. Um, a lot of good times with Mike Maltz. Towels and um, TDYs here and there and just getting to learn from a legend. So, uh, yeah. But, um, happier news, I was gonna, and totally off subject, but sometimes that's what you gotta do sometimes to, uh, get off a sad subject, so the, uh, new Mission Impossible 5 is come, coming out, called Rogue Nation, uh, kind of excited, uh, anything that has Rogue in it, kind of entices me, um, so, comes out July 1st, I think, or July 30th, it's either the 1st of July or the last of July, I'm excited. Looks good to me. Uh, there's a rogue state IMF that's just as good as them. And, uh, you know, Tom's got to pull it out in the end, as always. You know, they, uh, well, the first one, I mean, all of them, you know, all those kind of movies that have, like, Jason Bourne, you know, they, they make you think that they're not going to pull it out, and then in the end, you know, it works out. Um, it could be just happy uh, writing. Excuse me. Or, you know, it could be life imitates art. I think that while that we do have the occasional helicopter crash in the, the long run, we do seem to keep most of them in the air and do pretty good. So, eh, I don't think it's too that. It's not that too far fetched. Um. Shoot, there was a bunch of questions, and I have forgot my sticky notes. So what were what were my answers? I think my answers were yes, yes, no, A, C, and false. And <laughs> um, the answer could 
be out later. Uh, let's see, what was the question? Yeah, I don't remember. Okay, I have to make up a question. Uh, so, a reader from uh, Nova Scotia wants to know. No, there's no Nova Scotia. Um, right, I'll stop wasting time. I just wanted to talk about Mike Maltz and. And I bummed myself out, so I had to talk about something else to try to cheer myself up. Uh, that's what you call reframing. <laughs> you got to breathe and uh, think about something else. So look at that. I have shown you a tactically efficient way to get rid of something that's bothering you. Just talk about something else randomly. Uh, and the spirit of Tom Cruise can do that for you, I guess. Oh, Ethan Hawke. No, no, Ethan, Ethan, whatever his name is, Ethan Hawke's the, uh, actor, is it Ethan Hawke, the dude that was in Training Day, that's a good movie, Training Day, King Kong ain't got shit on me, uh, I think, uh, Denzel was, Denzel was good in that, I think he, he was better in Malcolm X, but he was pretty badass in Training Day, so, um, I think Denzel's an amazing actor, any way you put it, and, uh, so I'll, I'll leave you guys with that, that, uh, Denzel Washington, uh, awesome, if you guys get a chance, the Mighty Quinn plays a police chief in Jamaica, I like it, it's one of my favorite ones, uh, Robert Townsend, uh, great reggae score, and, um, and you get to hear, uh, Denzel sing, Quinn the Eskimo. So, enjoy. Have a good one. Thank you very much, and uh, hope you guys are having a good one. Booyah.